this tutorial, we'll go through how to generate a confidence interval for mu using the Z interval feature in the TI-84 calculator. Um, in the TI-83 calculator, it's very, very similar. All right, um, so we're going to do this by going through four different cases. The first case will be how to generate a confidence interval for mu when we're given sigma and we just have a data set to work with as well. Um, in the next two cases, we're just going to have uh, summary statistics to work with. First one where we know sigma, second one we're going to use S as an approximation for sigma. And then the fourth case, we're only going to use raw data. So let's start off case one where we're given sigma and um, a data set to work with. So that's all we know. So first we're going to need to enter in our data set. So hit the stat button and then hit enter. Um, this will be option one for edit. Um, I already have data in here. If you want to clear your data, just hit the up arrow. And I'd like to point out that all the commands I hit are down here, so you can see what I'm doing. And also it highlights what I'm pressing in red. Um, so you hit the up arrow. This highlights list one. And as you see, all of list one is listed down here. Um, then you hit clear. So it clears everything from here, but it didn't actually clear the list yet. In order for it to clear the list, you have to hit enter, and it will clear the whole list. Do not hit delete. If you hit delete instead of clear, um, it will actually delete the list. So it will remove list one from your list and then you have to bring it back. And it's a little bit of an annoying process to do that. Um, not impossible though. All right, anyway, so let's enter in my data set. So these are uh, fictitious wages of seven employees. So let me just type them in. So you just type them in and you hit enter after each wage. Sorry, this takes a minute. It'll be a little faster in your calculator. Um, my computer lags when it's recording. All right, and then nine, hit enter. All right, um, so as you see, there's seven items in the list, and it shows you which line you're on down here, like list one, item seven is nine, uh, list one, item six is 7.95, etc. So when you're done typing, um, it should bring you to uh, one more than the sample size, since there's seven items here. We're on line eight, and this can make sure this is a good way to check to make sure you didn't miss anything. All right, um, after you enter in your data, um, you're going to hit stat. Um, I don't need to know anything about this sample um, because I already know what sigma is. If you didn't know sigma, um, just skip ahead to uh, case four um, a little later in this video where it shows what to do uh, to pull that information from the data set. All right, so I'm going to hit option seven. You can just uh, down arrow till you get to option seven, or you can just hit seven. So I'm going to down arrow till I get to seven. Hit enter for Z interval. Okay, and you have two choices. You could either work with the data set, which is the default option, or you can use um, raw statistics. I'm going to use the data set because I need that data set. I don't have any information from it. All right, I'm going to type in my sigma, which was given to be one. My data set's in list one. If your data set was in a different list, you just hit second and then whichever list you want. Um, so second list one for list one. Um, make sure frequency one is selected and then type in your confidence level and you want to put this in decimal form. So I want a 90% confidence interval, which is 0.9 in decimal form. Then hit enter um, for calculate. And there you go. Um, so our confidence interval is 8.664 to 9.9074. And as you see, it gives you your sample average, your sample standard deviation, which the TI calculator shows SX, uh, standard sample standard deviation for X, and then the sample size was 7. Okay, let's go to case 2. In case 2, we're not given raw data at all. We're given uh, summary statistics. But um, they do still have... Um, we still know sigma, so using z is perfectly okay here. Because if you know sigma, you can use the z interval. So hit stat. I'm just going to go right to test. You don't have to worry about the data set at all, because we don't have a data set to plug in anyway. So just arrow over to test, select option 7. This time, we're going to use stats, not our data set. So just right arrow over to stats and hit enter. 
Um, we know our sigma is 15. Our sample average, if you notice, this is the sample average from before, so you're going to want to erase that. Um, if you just start typing, it will automatically erase it. Our sample average is 73. And our sample, and, um, our sample size is 20. Um, the problem asks us to generate a 99% confidence interval, so let's type in 0.99. And then hit enter, and then enter again, and there you go. So our confidence interval, a 99% confidence interval for mu in this example, is 64 to 81. Okay, um, this next example is going to be pretty much the same thing, except for this time, we don't know sigma, we only know s. Um, and we can use S as an okay approximation for sigma. It's not perfect, but it's okay. As long as the sample size is large. And since our sample size is 100, that's large enough. We're using a z-interval. It won't be too terrible. It'll be okay. So let's hit stat again. Again, arrow over to test. Um, and again, we don't need to enter in anything in for the data set because we don't even have the data set to work with. And again, hit option 7. Um, again, we want to make sure stats is highlighted, which it was from before. Um, we don't know sigma, but we can use s as, an, as a reasonable approximation for sigma. So let me just type in 200, which is our sample standard deviation, but we're using it to approximate sigma. Uh, our sample average in this case was 2,500, and our sample size is 100. And we want to do a 95% confidence interval, so type in 0.95 and then hit calculate. And there you go. Um, so our confidence interval is uh, 2,460.8 to 2,539.2. And again, it gives us our sample mean and sample size. In this example, case four, four we're given raw data and we're asked to find a Z interval. Um, let's say a 99% uh, confidence interval using Z. So um, I'm going to make up this data set, um, but to start off, we want to enter in our data set because we don't know any information about it right now. So hit stat and click on edit, option one, and this will allow you to enter in your data set. Um, I already entered in this data set because it was quite large. It was 35 numbers, um, but I entered in five fives, six sixes, seven sevens, and eight eights, and nine nines, just to make it easy. Um, if you have something in your list already and you want to clear it, if you just hit up and then clear, um, you can clear the whole list. But I don't want to do that because it took me quite a while to enter in all this data. We just like type five, hit enter, five, and then enter, etc. All right. Um, after you do that, you want to get the information from this data set. Um, you want the sample mean and you want the sample standard deviation. Um, so you can hit stat. <coughs> when you want the sample size as well, but as you entered in the numbers, you should have been able to figure out the sample size. Um, anyway, so um, right arrow over to calc and then get one variable statistics, option one. We want to make sure we choose list one unless your data set's in a different list. <clears throat> if you put your data set in a different list, just hit second and then type which list number you want to use. So one for list one, two for list two, etc. cetera. Um, I'll do one for list one. Um, there shouldn't be anything in the frequency list uh, option. If there is something, to make sure you delete it and then hit calculate. Okay, there we go. So our sample average is approximately 7.29, and I can make a note of that if I wish. And more importantly, our sample standard deviation, which uh, the TI-84 denotes with an SX, is 1.41 approximately. Okay, um, truth be told, you don't really need to record the sample average, but you might as well. Um, then hit, oh yeah, and also might as well record the sample size. The sample size is 35, right here. N. So then you hit stat again. This time we want the calculator to calculate the confidence interval for us. But if we wanted to, we can use these and plug the numbers that we found and plug them into our formulas and calculate them that way as well. And I want to go over to tests. So just right arrow over to tests. And then you're going to select the Z interval option. You can scroll down to get there. Or if that's taking a while, you can just type in the number 7 and it will bring you there. 
Okay, you have two options at this point. You can use data or you can use stats. Since we already know the stats, we can just use that. So these are just the uh, numbers instead of the raw data set. And um, our, sample av our sample standard deviation was uh, 1.41. Ah, sorry. Um, so we're going to use that as an approximation for sigma. Um, this is actually our X bar. It pulled it from the data set because I ran this example beforehand. But um, you could type in 7.29. That was approximately our sample average. Our sample size is 35, so you'd want to type that in. And then choose your confidence level. Um, if you wanted to do a 99% confidence interval, you type 0.99. If you wanted to do a 95% confidence interval, for example, you type 0.95. And then you hit calculate. And there you go. Uh, there's your 95% confidence interval from you. Uh, let me just show you one more way to do it. If you hit stat, and let's right arrow over to test, and we can choose option 7 again. Um, I'll still have to enter in sigma because we're using S as an approximation for sigma. Um, and that's okay as long as it's a large sample, but it's better to actually use a T in a row, which we'll talk about in the next section. Um, <clears throat> all right, um, let's say I don't want to uh, plug in the sample average and I wanted to find the actual sample average for me. Um, what I can do is instead of using stats, I can, um, instead of highlighting stats here, I can highlight data. So just arrow over till you get to data and then hit enter. So this will actually pull the data from your list. And so again, you have to type in the 1.41, um, tell it that you're using list one unless you want to use a different list. Um, type in your confidence level, make sure you put it in decimal form, and then hit calculate. And so notice I didn't have to make a note of the sample average and I didn't have to note the sample size. It's pulling that information from the list. And then you hit calculate. And there you go. Um, this should be about the same interval as before. Um, slightly less rounding errors because um, I was able to get the whole uh, sample size in there. I mean the sample average in there.